Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys a favourites video. I haven't done a favourites video for quite a while now, so if you want to see what my top favourites were from this month, please keep watching. Alright guys, so let's get started. The first product that I'm loving are my hair extensions. Ah! you probably have seen them peeping out in a couple of my last videos i got some micro ring extensions put in my hair i don't know if you can see but i've got a lot more hair it's so much longer there's so much here in the back still as well it's like so nice and full and thick i've been loving tucking my hair behind my ears and then straightening the sides of my hair so it's nice and long and straight i just think it looks so classy i see all the kardashians wearing that. i see i'm really wearing that. i'm like yes i want to look like that so i got my hair done at this place called the extensionist i'll leave their link down below Low. they do all different types they do like micro ring keratin bonds tapings i chose to go for the micro rings because it just doesn't damage your hair so this is what the little tube thing looks like they put this little tube onto your hair and they have all different colors so if you're blonde they have like a blonde color and then they loop this extension through a little chunk of your hair and then look you've got a whole another strand of hair so it's really nice just having long hair because my hair was so layered i'll put in photos of my before and after here but honestly it just makes your hair look so much more luxurious like now when I put my hair inside like a bun or like a ponytail it's just so full and thick and luscious I love it the only thing I would say is the first couple of days it was so itchy even now it still gets itchy but the first couple of days I was like oh god <laughs> gonna do the weave pack <laughs> Also, while I'm talking about hair, I just want to mention this hair straighteners that I received quite recently. It's from a brand called Cloud9. And because I got hair extensions put in, I needed some hair straighteners that were actually good. I had some other ones that there wasn't ceramic and they kept kind of snagging my hair and it wouldn't curl my hair or anything like that. It wasn't very good. But these ones, on the other hand, they are so nice. It's so smooth, the plate. They also come in the normal slimline one, the normal generic one. But this is the wider one, so this is better for someone with thicker hair, anyone that has cool the hair it's really cool it has like a button here and you can change the temperature but i just love the fact that it just kind of glides into my hair so so smoothly it doesn't snag my hair at all and then just quickly i want to talk about this hairspray from philip b so the reason why i love this is because look look at the little nozzle thing guys you can either direct it like this so you can put it right into the root and kind of ruffle it up or i just use it like a normal hairspray and i love the fact that it kind of gives me volume as well as setting and it doesn't make my hair all crispy or crunchy or anything like that but it gives me a really nice hold but it's still volumized every time i spray it, it smells like i'm putting in hair perfume in my hair and it just smells so so nice okay guys so let's move on to some makeup so let's see what i have next to me i have this janky stool that i'm using to hold all my favorites <laughs> forever ratchet okay guys so the first makeup product that i want to show you guys is from maybelline it is a drugstore foundation i actually don't wear a lot of stuff from the drugstore because i just find i have so much higher end makeup but while i was shopping in boots i really really needed a brand new maybelline age rewind concealer you guys know i freaking love this i've gone through two whole tubes of it i scraped it out there's no more so i needed a brand new one of this and it was buy one get one for free so that's where i bought this one and i literally just bought it on a whim i didn't do no research i've heard people talk about it before but because it was buy one get one free i was like okay what's in a similar budget you know you want to get one a similar price so that you can get that one for free you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying because it's the cheaper ones for free i've heard such amazing things about this foundation and too right because it is a really really nice foundation i wouldn't say it's a foundation that lasts all day it's one of those foundations that if i just want to literally run out and i don't want to look like i've got loads of foundation on but i still want to even out my skin tone without it looking too matte or too glossy this is so nice it just gives you a really even finish i love the color it's a yellow undertone which is really nice for the drugstore because most of them are so pink so next time you're at boots make sure you check out all the testers because they had quite a big color range so definitely try this out if you haven't because so many people will tell me that they freaking love it and the finish of this is not too matte which is nice as well because it doesn't look cakey but there's not too shiny so it doesn't look too oily it's the perfect in between and then just while we're talking about concealers i've been loving this one from tarte it's called the tarte shape tape and i use the color in light medium and guys if you like prolong wear concealer from mac you will love this this is like the prolong wear concealer texture but in a much better application form yes it's got doe foot applicator a humongous doe foot applicator and i actually even use this as foundation sometimes and it gives you the most flawless flawless finish it's so so long wearing it doesn't crease it doesn't look thick heavy cakey it just makes you look really flawless and smooth so you guys know i love highlighters Woo! yes i had to mention a highlighter in this video and you guys probably guessed it already because i've been using all of my tutorials 
is this one here. <laughs> this is from Artist Couture and it is so, so, it's so good. I've been wanting to try this for the longest freaking time and then when I finally got that delivery in the mail, I'm like, mm because I always see Mac Daddy always wear this and Coco Bling on his Snapchat. He always mentions it on his Instagram and too freaking right. It is so, so nice. It's one of the top highlighters. This and Rodeo Drive, I think, is my top two. This is probably even more blingier than Rodeo Drive. And it's really nice for anyone with a golden kind of yellowish olive undertone. Like, this one is not as glittery as his other formulas. I just find this one's a lot more smoother. Coco Bling, still smooth, but it has a little bit of glitter and a little, little fine glitters but this one is just more like pigment i'll just show you what it looks like just again if you haven't seen my tutorials oh, oh, child. Oh, oh. it's just so good guys it's just one of those highlighters that just makes you look so glowy every single time i wear it people are like what highlights are you wearing last time i was in selfridges i was just walking past and someone literally like ran after me and stopped me and was like excuse me what highlight are you wearing and i'm always like it's illuminati by artist control and they're like what brand I don't think a lot of people actually know about Artist Control unless you're like in Instagram and stuff like that but you know just let it speak for itself okay the next product I'm going to talk about is from Morphe and it's their beauty sponges so I am an avid user of beauty blenders but I always find that I'm not very good at washing my sponges so I always need to have multiple here in backup and honestly I try so many sponges from other brands and stuff but the top two that I always use is from Morphe and the beauty blender you guys want to see my beauty blender right now this is my beauty blender I don't know what happened to it I literally just saw it on the floor and I'm like what what is this it's like it's been flattened this poor egg i don't know i just saw it on the floor and it's all like squished and stuff i'm gonna have to try to revive it by putting water in it hopefully it bounces back but this is what happens guys i just get in a tornado whenever i'm rushing and then things drop on the floor and then the chair runs over it and then i step on it with my heels and then it ends up like this Anyways, I've been loving the Morphe sponges. They honestly, they feel so similar to the beauty blenders. They're still always squishy. It goes underneath your eyes so, so nicely. And they're so affordable as well. Okay, so the next product is a bit more expensive, but so so worth it they are eyeliners by Marc Jacobs and I received the whole line I have never applied eyeliner on as smooth as this I think this is the perfect eyeliner guys and I ain't playing because I am an eyeliner queen I have so many liners guys look at this this is just one of the many pots that I have and it's been a long time since I found a black eyeliner that does not smudge it doesn't smear or anything like that I'll show you an example so today I don't know if you can see but I tight lined inside my my top lash line with the Marc Jacobs black eyeliner and then on the bottom I put in the nude eyeliner by Urban Decay and I've been out all day just been to a meeting and stuff and you can still see this is still quite nude normally if I use another brand of eyeliner I'll get all smudges in here this doesn't happen with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner that is telling you guys something and I also really love this one's called brownie and it's the perfect brown eyeliner guys it's so smooth so creamy you don't sharpen it you literally just twist it like this it's freaking genius and i'll show you what it looks like this is brownie here you guys see just like one like, soft smooth and it's so smooth it's like the perfect warm brown chocolate you can blend it out but after they set and they're so long wearing i'll show you the black as well Ooh, they're so dark i just love the fact you just twist them up you don't need to sharpen them they're so black transfer resistant so worth the money guys so worth it go get some okay and the next favorite i've only used them a couple times i've probably used them about four times but i can tell you they're good fucking stuff i knew that i would love them as soon as i first laid eyes on them when they were in the selfridges store and i was just staring at it from across the room like coming over seductively i was like yeah come to mama boo i love these magnificent metals eyeshadows they're so 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 good guys i can't even explain how good they are they're the perfect way to add a really nice glitter to your eye i'm wearing one today so this is literally just shade rose gold retro and the one i've been really really loving the most is diamond dust i only have about five out of i think they have like eight shades but diamond dust oh it's a good one guys i love it it's more like silvery do a swatch for you guys oh my 
gosh, literally have a heart attack. What I like to do is I just like to apply it directly onto the eye with the applicator and I use a brush or just my fingers sometimes and I just kind of like buff it out just so that it's not like a block line of glitter. It's just super quick to turn your makeup into day to night. You need it in your life. If you haven't tried it, go and swatch it in the store because then you'll end up buying them all like me. I'm just going to quickly mention this because I've been loving it recently. It's a powder puff. This is like some dirty powder puff but I have been loving this recently. It's from MAC this particular one i do like this one i've tried lots of different powder puffs this is probably the nicest powder puff i've tried so far but they all kind of work the same anyways it just makes your foundation last so much longer especially if you're really really oily and i get really oily especially around my nostrils and inside my eyebrow here so if you pick up like loose powder and really like stretch out that nostril and get up in there girl it just honestly sets everything makes everything so much longer wearing really pushes the powder inside the pores so you don't look like you have any pores whatsoever foundation looks so much more flawless especially in photos so if you've got a big event and you want your makeup to last all day use a powder puff okay i'm just gonna quickly move on to skincare i have been loving this product from heal gel so good guys if you guys had surgery of any kind if you guys just got a spot any kind of like scars on your face you need this freaking product because it is so good so if you guys haven't seen i just had some surgery on my nose so i'm left with kind of like two scars basically on my nostrils it's still fresh it's only been about four months so it's very important that i use something for scarring at the moment and this is the best product I have found. Honestly, I can see an improvement with it almost overnight. When I first got my surgery done, I used to use another product called Dermatex and it gave me the worst blackheads of my life. Honestly, I've never had blackheads like that before. Like all of my cheeks and everything, I've still left with like scarring here, which is so annoying. I'm so glad I found out it was that product that was giving me blackheads and I kicked it to the curb. Instead, I replaced it with this. When I first used it, it started to sting. So I was like, oh, I don't know if this product is good. But next day, as soon as I dumped that product and used this one, I could see my wound heal overnight. Okay, guys, I'm not joking. It literally just like, sealed the wound i'll just get this on two fingers on here and i'll just go like this and massage the scar so that it flattens the scar so if anyone's got like spots or you just had surgery my friend had a breast lift and she used this and she said it was amazing if you've got like scar that's been there for years and years and years i think it will work but not as well as like something that's still newish you need it if you got scarring and then i'm going to quickly talk about two products i've been loving they're both kind of like toners essences one is from vichy it's called their idea peeling and this is really nice i only just received this at the start of the month um, i don't think i've talked about it on snapchat but i've been using it a lot recently as a toner at night time so i put this onto a cotton pad and i just do a couple of drops and this is made specifically to slough off dead skin cells it's called a radiant activated night peeling care so you have to use it at night time don't use it in the day you need to make sure you use spf when you do use this product because obviously you have new skin that's forming underneath and you want to keep that skin nice and protected this is so so lovely if you've got a lot of dry flaky skin i love anything that's renewing overnight so this literally as soon as i was seen, i was like mm, you're coming out into the skincare section with me girl <laughs> That's all you know is good. If it's sitting on here, that means I'm testing it. I'm trying it all out. So I've been really loving this one from Vichy. I've also featured this product in my skincare routine. That I've been loving so much. It's the Iris Extract Activated Treatment Essence. But this is a really, really nice product. Not necessarily to use in a cotton pad. You just do a little few drops on your hand and then just pat it into your skin. But I've been loving this before my moisturiser. Or even some days when I'm going to the gym. And I don't want to put like a heavy moisturiser on before I go to the gym. Just in case it clogs my pores and stuff. I do a few drops and then just pat it on my skin. And my skin feels like so much more hydrated. I put it down to my neck. It helps with texture, dullness. Makes your skin look so bright, so smooth, so hydrated. It's a really good product, guys. I've been loving these two. They almost look like the same freaking bottle don't they <laughs> okay guys so i'm gonna go on to two fashion favorites i have been loving hoops yeah the bigger the hoop the bigger the hoop hey hey oh. <laughs> just feel like it just makes you look so much more cooler so much more edgier you guys know i love big earrings anyways because i have a really big face so i need earrings to kind of help elongate my head make it look less round give me a bit of something stuff in here to distract from these buddha earlobes you know what i'm saying this one i got from primark it was super super cheap like two pounds i've been loving these hoops uh, i have this in silver rose gold and gold it just come in a pack of three for like three pounds from primark but they're really nice and thick and chunky and they make me look really cool <laughs> especially when i have my hair like two braids and like hoop earrings i just feel like what up do you know what i mean i just feel so much more like cooler edgier <laughs> you know and then my last fashion favorite i have been loving my 
Adidas Ultra Boost. I've been wearing these all over town, so I'm a bit scared to be holding it this close to my face just in case I stepped on something, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, Coco? But these trainers are the best trainers of life. I am not even a big fan of trainers. I have bought £150 trainers. I've customised my own trainers from Nike ID and they were not comfortable whatsoever. And it just used to blow my mind when people say, oh, I just want to wear trainers to be comfortable. I have wide ass feet, okay? My toes are like, ooh, like Sasquatch, okay? I can't be wearing normal trainers. They literally bunch up my feet. They make my feet sweaty. They make my feet smell. And I just want my toes to be free, you know what I'm saying? But these, they're just something else, guys. They're like, honestly, walking on clouds. I ain't gonna lie, these are fucking expensive. They're like £120. And I was like, <laughs> these just feel, honestly, like you're walking barefoot in your socks. That's what it feels like, walking around London in your socks. It's just so, so comfortable. It's got this Ultra Boost technology, whatever that is. But basically, this bit here is like spongy. So when you're running in the gym or if you're walking around London, it feels like you're like springing along. It's just so nice and like bouncy. That's all I can say. I don't know what the technology is around it i would recommend you go up like a size because i'm normally size four this is size five especially for me if i am wearing trainers i want to be comfy in them i'm not really wearing them for style i do want a style like this but in nude so if you guys can recommend any that's really really nice and really comfortable in particular please comment down below anything that you recommend ones that are easy to get not limited edition ones please i really want the yeezys the nude yeezys <laughs> I want it. this is your toes inside can you guys see it's like a sock it's just so comfortable. I saw Jaclyn Hill's Snapchat and she said that she has the white ones in these and they're the most comfortable shoes she's ever worn in her life. And I agree, Jaclyn. I agree. And then last and final favourite product, guys. Yes, we've come to the end of this video. But I just wanted to share with you guys my love for Tahin. I love me some Tahin, guys. I love me some Tahin, guys. I literally just bought this bottle. I can't remember when. I bought this on Amazon because I always see the American people use this on top of like Cheetos, on top of the fruit. And I was like, mm, what is that? So this is from Amazon, Amazon Prime. <laughs> and it's like a, a seasoning. I don't know. I think it's got like chili, salt. I don't know what it is in here. It's not too spicy because I don't like spicy food at all. So it's not really spicy. It's like sour, like sweet, salty. My mouth is watering. So good, guys. I've nearly finished it. So I'm now I'm being really, really stingy with it. Before I used to put on everything. I don't care if it overspills. But now I'm like... I'm so particular about where it goes because I don't want to waste it. But this was like eight pounds. It's so expensive, but it was worth it. It was good, and I really love this with cantaloupe. I've been loving, loving cantaloupe, the fruit, the orange melon, and I literally just cut in half. I scoop out all the seeds and stuff, and I literally just have a spoon, and I just pour this inside the cantaloupe, and I just take the spoon, and I just scoop it like it's fucking rice pudding or something. It's so good because it has that like, juice inside of the melon, and then when the tahini mixes in, it's like the juice is like it's like salty, chili, spicy. Oh, 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 I want some more. Alrighty, guys, so that's it for this favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so random. I had a bit of everything in there, you know. I like a bit of this, a little bit of that. So, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorites were for last month. If there's anything you can recommend to me, let me know below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload them here twice a week, every Wednesdays and Sundays. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms it's just x Lee on snapchat twitter and instagram hey. so i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <sighs> free at last free at last done so if you want to see what my top favorite <laughs> but these ones on the other hand <coughs> oh, the, the itch is back my nose is running <laughs> Flick the bogey. <laughs> oh, janky mananky. Been uh, a better beauty blogger and wiped this all off before I started the video. <laughs> so squishy. So squishy. You're not eyeliner, you're eyeshadow. Oh my god, 24 minutes already. Jeez. Irish extract. Ex Jim. Oh, Jim. I went to the gym once this month, yeah. Try to expose me. Give me a thumbs up for this tutorial. Tutorial? <laughs> this ain't no tutorial, man.